When one pictures home, they might picture an array of places. Houses they grew up in, schools they attended, and stores they shopped at, and people they saw nearly every day. Fort Wayne is home to nearly 260,000 people. This northeastern city is changing rapidly as gentrification and urbanization take place. Many natives are split on whether the change is for better or for worse. Here's what one Fort Wayne native has to say about the change. I, I don't know. I just hate to see uh, the, the character of Fort Wayne that I know uh, sort of fade into obscurity as uh, we become over overtaken by um, just kind of this whitewashed uh, facsimile of, you know, a shopping mall. In 2014, Fort Wayne was ranked the fifth most boring city in the U.S. by Laura Allen, a popular blogger and traveler. Although many natives of Fort Wayne argued with Allen's accusations, other natives sided with her. Since the release of this article, the art scene and nightlife of Fort Wayne has completely transformed, equipped with a 10-year plan to help better develop neighborhoods, local businesses, and the town's riverfront. 2016 also marked the first year for Middle Waves, a three-day music festival with appearances from bands such as The Flaming Lips, Best Coast, and Bully. Um, how is Middle Waves a good way to improve downtown's image? Exactly that. I mean, we've, we've got a running start now, right? There's all kinds of new restaurants, things to do. There might be a lot of people that don't really come down here that much, right? And uh, bring them back down here. Show them what's going on. Wake people up, right? It only, it only keeps that snowball rolling more and more and more. Locals are hopeful about the progress being made in the city and hope word of Fort Wayne and its growing community of artists and musicians continues to spread. Like, I think, like, the art scene and, like, Everything is just taking off right now. I have a lot of friends that live in like Grand Rapids and like a lot of other like college towns, and they're all talking about Fort Wayne. Despite the controversy, the momentum of the city isn't stopping anytime soon. The city's next big project is the riverfront. Although few details have been released, it's estimated to be a hundred million dollar project that will revive the river with restaurants, trails, and shopping, scheduled to be completed in 2019. I'm Abigail Boylan from the Point 91 FM. Thank you for listening.